Okay, so you want to use a cell phone to take video of yourself talking. Oh boy. And you want to know what the best lavalier microphone is that you can use. This is what photography has come to. Anyway, uh, okay, so the newer phones don't use a 3.5 millimeter jack anymore. What you're stuck with is USB-C, which sucks in the microphone department. But there are a few options. They're not great, but they're okay. So here they are. They don't make high-end professional microphones for USB-C cell phones. They have cheapy little ones, but there are some that are pretty good. So I bought them to try out for you. So here we go. Today I'll be using my Samsung Note 10 Plus because it's one of the better ones. So let's see how good it can sound. Right now I'm not talking on a cell phone, by the way. I'm talking on a Nagra SD. So you can compare with something that's a little bit more professional. Anyway, so here we go in the cell phone world. Let's see what it sounds like. I have the air conditioner running in the background to simulate a more realistic everyday environment for background noise than people will be in. Here's what they sound like with no processing. This is what the cell phone itself sounds like when you hold it at arm's length with no microphone plugged in. This is the Boya BYM3 clip-on USB Type-C lapel microphone. This is the SJ Cam SJ8 series external microphone. This is the SJ Cam SJ8 series external microphone. This is the Ceramonic Lav Micro UC. This is Ceramonic Lav Micro UC without the foam. This is just bare microphone. This is the Mic 20 universal cardioid caller microphone. This is the Yi Chuang YC-LM10. This is the Yi Chang YC-LM10 without the foam. And here's what they sound like if you add a little bit of compression and some post-processing to make them sound as good as you can. This is the Boya BY-M3. The Boya BY-M3. And this is the Yi Chuang YC-LM10 caller microphone. This is the Yi Chang YC-LM10 without the foam. This is the Ceramonic Lav Micro UC. The Ceramonic Lav Micro UC. This is the SJ Cam SJ8 series external microphone. This is the Mic 20 without the foam cap on it. This is the Mic 20 without the foam cap on it. So which one's the best? You'd think it'd be the Ceramonic because it's the biggest name, it's the most expensive, it's $100, and it's in the biggest box, but it's not, in my opinion. The best one is the Boya BYM3. It's 40 bucks. It actually sounds pretty good. This is the Boya BYM3. The Boya BYM3. The next one is the Yi Chang YC LM10, and uh, it sounds pretty good too, especially when you boost it with some compression. And this is the Yi Chang YC LM10 caller microphone. The Yi Chang is only 20 bucks, so it's a good deal too. Then the Ceramonic Lav Micro UC at $100. I'm really not too impressed with it, but it sounds okay. This is the Ceramonic Lav Micro UC. The Ceramonic Lav Micro UC. And the fourth one is the Mic 20, also from China. It's uh, 20 bucks. Maybe the 20 refers to how much it costs. I don't know, but it sounds okay. This is the Mic 20 without the foam cap on it. This is the Mic 20 without the foam cap on it. And the SJ Cam is the biggest piece of garbage. It calls itself an AIK broadcast quality omnidirectional lavalier microphone. It should call itself the piece of garbage microphone. If anybody wants it, I'll send it to you. Just send me your, your mailing address to free stuff at marcuspix.com and I'll send it to you. I, I don't know who would want this. I will also send out the Ceramonic microphone to anybody who wants it. Send your mailing address to free stuff at marcuspix.com. And I'll also send out the mic 20 to anybody. Let me know which one you want. The SJ Cam, the Ceramonic, or the mic 20. I'm keeping the other two in case I decide to use my cell phone as a camera to take video of myself. Unbelievable. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.